Hey man, you ever look in the flatter? Okay. Let me get it focused here better. That's a 6400 ISO. And uh, Saturn's going on an upward direction here. I let it come into the screen, go by one time, and I want to start bringing my ISO down. Yeah, that's full zoom. Yeah, and this is at uh, 6400 ISO. Back up. We'll go down to 32. 32. Oh, what was that? Oh, an airplane. Ah! Caught an airplane. We get it focused. We got that's pretty good. And let me move it over a little bit here and let it go by the screen. And like I said, I'm in the movie mode. And I'll back out and go down to 1600. Okay, here's 1600. Get it focused. I am using the manual focus. I always think it just works better. You know, 746 million miles average. Average. It could be at 800 right now. 800 million miles. If you believe that. I got a, a bridge down here in Florida. I'll sell you. Sell you the Sunshine Skyway if you want to buy it. Okay, I'm going to back out again, and we'll go down uh, to the 800. Yeah, here's 800. Focus on it. Let me get it. Let me get it off to the edge here. Sorry about all this moving around, folks. Like I said, you a little bit of movement, and man, that thing goes a long ways off. All right, here it comes. It's 800. I'm going to go to 400 next. Let it go across the screen.
I mean, you're taking pictures. You got to take it. Um, I mean, when you're doing your exposures, you got to bring that down to like one one thousandth of a of a second in order to do um, pictures. So anybody interested in doing pictures, you can do them. But you, because it's moving so fast, you have to uh, you have to do these pictures on, on a quick uh, quick flash. Okay, this is 400. Uh, that's good enough. Looks like it's pretty good focus. And then the next is going to be 200. too far because the lower I get. Okay. Here's 200 ISO. Shit. Pulls in. Let it come into the screen and I'll focus it. Come on. Uh, it has to wind pick up here. Then the last one is uh, the 125. So I'm not going to back out as far. Like I said, you almost lose it. Let me just back up a little bit here. Here's 125. There's a few other little things you got to know too as far as your daylight setting. I got this set at minus three in the daylight, um, well the lighting setting. Um, a couple other things. I got the peaking turned off. Um, a couple other things turned off. And, uh, oh God, it's not the neutral. It's the one under the neutral. What is that? I don't know. For some reason, I, it won't come to me. <laughs> um, but this is how you, you do it. You know, you got to fake all these things. Again, I'm going to back out. I'm going to turn my camera back over here to this uh, centennial light by my driveway. So you can see that, yeah, it looks funky, that centennial light. Because you don't get to see the pole going all the way down. And hell, you can't even see my garage. It's just so dark. Because, I, you know, having everything turned down. Um, it is a big difference. Again, like I said, I could take some pictures. I've already taken a bunch of pictures. Um, I might try to find those and then present them with the, with the video. Um... It always seems like the stars to the south seem to be 
much brighter. But being that I got a, a nice clear sky, I'm going to do a time lapse on Polaris. <laughs> 